Hello and welcome to Farm Trends and as always this is where I get to bring you stories on concepts and innovations which have been developed to counter various challenges affecting the different agricultural value chains and today we are coming to you from ICP that is International Center for Insect Physiology and Ecology where we will be learning more about the rearing and breeding of the black soldier fly. But before we dive into black soldier fly, let's get a general overview on insect farming. Here under the Insects for Food, Feed and Other Uses program, we are promoting the rearing of more than 10 insect species for the production of food, feed and other value-added products like the insect composted organic fertilizer, insect oils and insect-based uh, uh, pharmaceutical products. It's a small insect with big, big impact. Um, it is widely advocated globally as a, an alternative source of protein. And this is because of the massive shortage of protein um, material required for animal feed production. And so a lot of farmers have actually fallen out of uh, production or companies like uh, feed millers or food process processors stopping um, uh, production because of this uh, protein source. And the major protein source is actually accounts for 70 to 70 percent of the total cost of production. Okay, we are very critical of black soldier fly because of the multiple advantages that it has. For example, it has very uh, high feed conversion ratio that means you can grow on organic waste to produce high quality protein. And also, uh, it has a very short developmental cycle. And, and also, the, the female produces a lot, a lot number of eggs, uh, between 500 to 900 eggs. Then also, it's not a pest. And also, it doesn't, it doesn't bite, it doesn't stink. And so, you really find it within human habitation. And therefore, it's not a, a vector of disease uh, carrier. And they, that, that makes it a very, very important insect for mass production. And also, not being a pest, when you rear, wherever you rear it, even if it happens to escape, it doesn't cause any harm to the environment or to the, uh, to the crop that uh, farmers are producing. It is more sustainable in the, in the sense that it is an insect that you can, you can use it to, to recycle organic waste. Like now, we have a lot of pollution in the environment because of massive dumping of waste um, in, in various sites. Like in Africa, we, they, we produce close to one, 125 million tons of organic waste. This is waste that can be transformed using the insect um, to produce high quality protein, fast, fast fertilizer that can be used in, uh, in animal feed or helping to improve our soil fertility and also increase crop, um, crop yield into the country, given that the, the issue of the Ukraine war has actually caused a lot of hike in the price of uh, fertilizer. And so we can, if we can recycle our own organic waste using insects, uh, black soldier flies the advantage that it can it shortens the, 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 the decomposing time. You, you use about five weeks to produce stable and mature fertilizer for use, but conventional methods use up to, up to 28 uh, weeks, which is much more longer compared to um, using uh, um, insects. So the first thing you do is, if, it, if it's in the wild, you have the adult flies. They are very poor um, flyers, and therefore it's, most of the time it's difficult to, to see them. But it, with, the, with the trapping method that ECP has designed, you can place waste stop it outside for quite some time, and later on you find that they are going to come to lay their eggs. Most of the time, we normally uh, train farmers to know that they can use different con uh, materials for egg collection. So we have the wooden, the wooden design where you have the different wood structure put together and held with the rubber band, and that allows the, the adult fly to lay eggs here. But one of the easiest way we, we, we try to train farmers is to use um, electrical conduit. And this electrical conduit is simply just placed inside the cage where you have the adult flies, and the flies will all lay eggs. On, on the on the conduit, and so from a farmer just all the farmer needs is to remove it from 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 the cage, the cage onto the substrate, and within two three days all the, the eggs will hatch, and then the the young ones or the new will then move down to the substrate, and once you put them on the organic waste, it can take it takes um, between nine to twelve days to be ready, so they have different six different developmental stages. Um, around the fifth insta stage, when the the, 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 the chitin levels are very low and the protein levels are quite high, then you can harvest them. So this is called the fifth insta stages, which is very um, it has maximal amount of uh, protein. So when you harvest this, you can dry it and then you can then use it for feed formulation. So you can formulate feed for 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 
for chicken, for pigs, for, um, for fish. On, and one other very critical and, uh, uh, aspect of the insect is that you can also extract oil. So once they, they leave the larva stage, they, they move to the pre pupa stage, they stop feeding. So at this stage, they are moving, but they stop feeding. And after some time, they move to the pupa stage where they stop moving completely. And then from the pupa stage, um, uh, they, they, they not transform now to, to the, the adult, adult fly. You could use plastic rectangular containers, or you could have cut um, plastic containers that can hold waste for smallholder farmers who cannot afford to buy uh, expensive uh, uh, containers. So once you have that and you, you have your waste stream, all you do is just to place um, the, the waste on it and place it and get the insect. But one very important thing is that the insect also can be fed directly to chicken or to fish or to pigs uh, without having to go through the extensive process of uh, production and feed formulation. So one, so one interesting part of the te this technology, as I said, it requires less amount of space. So you find, you find that in a small screen house like this, which is about five, um, uh, uh, 10 to 20 uh, met, uh, meters, you can, you can produce between three to five tons of this insect on, on, on monthly basis. Also, one very critical thing about the use of insect as alternative source is for us to be able to reduce competition between animal, I mean, humans and animals. We are able to adopt just five to 50 percent of insect inclusion in animal-based feed. We should be able to remove fish, soya beans, that will be able to feed close to 4.8 million people per year. That is in Kenya alone. This has been a, a learning process for us also. Uh, uh, research has gone through this process uh, right from the beginning. Uh, we research and come up with new innovations which we share with uh, 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 beneficiaries and also with private sector and the sector is actually growing. So just to uh, indicate before 2015 there is no black soldier fly produced in Kenya uh, which goes into the feed sector or which is recycling organic waste. Currently there are enormous number of good number of uh, private sector partners who are engaged in producing black soldier flies and we are looking forward to scale this up further uh, from cities down to uh, uh, rural spaces also to see how best uh, this can contribute to job creation and organic waste recycling uh, opportunities in Kenya.